What's up everybody, it's Elvis here with MTS. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be showing y'all a couple different things. We have some new owner ops here. We have some of our current guys that have been with us for years here as well, getting maintenance work done and stuff like that. And we'll also be showing you some of our trucks here. Stay tuned until the end of the video. Let's get straight into it. Owner ops are coming in. We got Matthew here leasing on his Freightliner Cascadia. Truck looks good, tires look good. Welcome to the team, man. We look forward to working with you. Matthew's taking advantage of our trailer lease program. If you need a trailer, you can own one for $200 a week through our lease purchase program. We got a new owner up, Yoan, here. Let's go give him a shirt and a hat. He'll be leasing on his Freightliner Cascadia here. Check it out. Check out his truck. That's us. That's right. Gotta love this American ride. We got this hat. And I got a shirt for you. Perfect. Well. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Welcome to the team, man. How long have you been driving? Uh, for 20 years. I had this business for 20 years. So for okay. Driving. Yeah. What's the hardest part about being a truck driver? Uh, be a far too long time for the family. Yeah. My being son, Being away my from wife. home. Yeah. yeah. It's a sacrifice, right? Exactly. It's a really sacrifice. What is the hardest part about being an owner-operator? The hard part is... Uh, you know, and the maintenance for the truck, yeah, on the road, um, and be too, too long, too, too far to the family. Sounds good, man. Well, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the team again, man. We look forward to making some money together. Thank you, buddy. No problem, man. That's us. That's right. Gotta love this American ride. A lot of y'all may know Unit 147 as it's one of the first trucks we ever had, but check this out. 100 trucks later, here's 247 one of our 2020 Freightliner Coronados. It just goes to show how far we come, but we still have a long way to go. We got Rico here. Let's go interview him. Boss man, I got that stuff for you. A shirt and a hat for you. How you doing, man? Right, how you doing, man? I'm good. How long you been driving? Uh, I've been driving for uh, six years coming up. Yeah, how, how, uh, how you like working here? I love it here. Really? Yes, how you like yes. the truck? I love it. I don't want no other truck on the yard but them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. What would you say is the hardest part about being a truck driver? Uh, being away from family. Yeah. But, you know, that, that has their pros and cons. They help take care of the families. So. Right. What's your advice for new drivers just getting started? Uh, take your time. Get your experience. Don't you know, sit there for a minute. And, you know, just let the truck come to you because... It's a lot to learn. Yeah. yeah. What's one place uh, you refuse to go? Northeast. Yeah. What North part? Jersey, uh, New York, um, Buffalo, all that up there. Yeah. No Northeast. <laughs> I don't know. I just prefer the South and the, the weather? Midwest. The weather, especially in the uh, winter time. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like the Midwest and the South. Like, yeah. We're gonna have to send you to New York City. Oh no. <laughs> Tell us the craziest thing that ever happened to you while driving. I was parked at the rest area one day, and a guy just came and just pulled on the truck door, you know. And I was like, man, what are you doing? He was like, uh, oh, man, I'm trying to stay warm. I was in the Midwest here. I'm like, well, you just can't come and pull on nobody's door and just try to get in the he tried to get in the truck. Man. You, you ain't let him in? Oh, no. For what? <laughs> you pay? Keep him warm. You got to pay to get in. Yes, no. sir. <laughs> well, all right, man. Well, we appreciate you for everything. Thank right. you. Thank you. That's us. That's right. Got to love this American ride. Here at MTS, we got some unique units. The two trucks we'll be showing y'all today is this Purple Cascadia, a.k.a. Big Barney. The other unit is this lime green Freightliner Coronado. These are our two favorite colors on trucks. The purple really pops. Lime green always looks good. Here's another unique unit that we have here. It's actually one of the first trucks we've ever had at MTS. We've done our first paint job on it to give it this unique look, the black and green. There's obviously other colors that pop on trucks too. These are just our favorite. Let us know what color is your favorite on a truck. Our partner shop, Merzik Truck Center, has been working hard lately. Check out this Coronado they just pulled out. They painted the fenders on it. Here's what it looked like before, and here's what it looks like now. This is a 2012 Freightliner Coronado with a 12.7 Detroit motor and a 13-speed transmission. How do y'all like the new look? Comment down below and let us know. Corey just pulled up in unit 150. 
Let's go interview him. <laughs> What's up, man? What's going on, man? Welcome to Jacksonville. That's us. That's right. Gotta love this American ride. How long you been driving? Uh, 25 years. Yeah. What's your piece of advice to new truck drivers that are just getting started? Be patient. Yeah. Patience is a virtue. You know, um, let's see. Be patient, and, you know what I'm saying, and don't think you know everything because you don't. Yeah, that's where a lot of guys go wrong. Mm -hmm. You got to be like a sponge, man. Yeah. Soak everything in. You yeah. can learn from something from anybody, you know. Stay hungry. You yeah. Know, be, you know, be eager to learn, you know what I'm saying. Learn new things, you know, because there's a whole lot to learn out here. Yeah. You know? There's no, nobody knows it all. That's right. If anyone tells you they know it all, you <laughs> stay away from that person. Those, those that think they know it all, they don't last. Yeah. What's the craziest thing that happened to you while driving out there? Craziest thing? Boy, um, I, I've seen them. I've witnessed them. Police come through the lot and they take out running like roaches. You really? know what I'm saying? <laughs> they running up on the trailers and hiding and stuff like that. Yeah, that, that's hiding fun, under fun. Hide, hiding under your bunk. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What's no. uh What's one thing you would want to change about trucking, about the whole industry? If you could change one thing, what would that be? The um, drivers sticking together. Oh yeah, uniting. Yeah. To make it make a better 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 difference out here, change out here. Because what it used to be uh, to what it is now, it's changed dramatically. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's no common courtesy out here anymore. Right. Um, we used to stick together. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, driver was broke down on the side of the road, it'd be two or three trucks that, that, that would pull over and, and check on you, make sure you use all right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And help, help you get back going and get the government out, out of our pocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, because the government has, has stepped in and put their nose. Too many regulations. Yeah, a lot. Too much. Unnecessary regulations. I mean, some of it is, is for the good, but a lot of it is for the bad, you know, because it's not, it's not helping us. It's crippling us, you know. And we cut these middlemen out, you know, these brokers. We make them stand up for what's right. Of course, you know, instead of them focusing on uh, lining their pockets, you know, and... Cause it's, it's 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 enough enough food out here for everybody. Right. If we do it right. Yeah. You know, take the greed out of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A lot of people get greedy. Exactly. And it's a very cutthroat industry too. So. Exactly. But all right, man. We appreciate it. <laughs> Stay safe out there. And yeah, we'll do, man. That's us. That's right. Gotta love this American ride. Some of you guys say a glider kit can have death. One thing my dad used to tell me is uh, there's one man that knows everything, Google. Let's see what they say. Does a glider kit have death? Advantages of a glider kit, lower cost of ownership compared to a factory truck, better fuel economy, no death or EGR. We got a driver here, let's go ask him as well. Hey, Corey, you're leasing a Coronado glider from us. We just had someone comment and say uh, gliders have death, a death system. Your truck got death? No, sir. Okay, how you feel about that comment? Uh, Must not be a true glider, right? No, it, it isn't. A, it isn't a true glider if it's got depth, because no, no glider kit has a depth system. Yeah, sounds like somebody got scammed. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, man. You're more than welcome. And if that wasn't good enough, let's show y'all some of the gliders we have here at the terminal, like this one here, 2012 Coronado, no depth, as you can see. Here's another one, 2014 glider, no depth. Here's a 2016 Coronado glider. You guessed it, no depth. As far as being ELD exempt, it just depends on the year of the motor. A glider kit with a pre-2000 engine will uh, maintain the ELD exemption. And that concludes this week's video. Like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate all the love and support. Thank y'all and stay safe.